Could be a very special day. We've put in the hard yards, we've traveled a lot of miles, we've found the secret mystical Caribbean sandbank. It's a flawless right hand sandbank barrel when it's good. It doesn't very often get good. It's definitely the Caribbean's best wave, I reckon. We've reached the end of the road. Gotta walk the rest of the way. like you're ready for an outdoor adventure. You got sunscreen all through your beard and is that a cup of tea in your hand? It certainly is. Welcome back to another episode of Naughty Nook and today could be a very special day. We've found the secret mystical Caribbean sandbank, we think, and you wouldn't know it most of the time because it's flat but we've got a swell right now that's starting today. I think by lunchtime we could be looking at four foot sets. Tomorrow it could be a bit bigger. The winds are going to be strong and maybe a little bit wrong but you can't have it all. Tell me about this wave. It's fickle and it hasn't been w known for very long, is that right? Well, it was discovered by a couple of French surfers back in the early 2000s, I believe, so it's a pretty new discovery. It's a flawless right-hand sandbank barrel when it's good. It doesn't very often get good. Needs the right swell direction, needs the right sand, but it's definitely the Caribbean's best wave, I reckon. It's like a, it's like a, just a fast barrel that runs along a bank and it's right on the sand. So if you come off, you're gonna be on the sand, which is better than reef, but it's still, you'll see it's a heavy wave and it's gonna be like tricky taking off on them because there's like no back to them. They just come out of deep water and just heave on this sandbank. And it'd probably be a pretty good place to get yourself a neck injury or a back injury if you want, want to go down that path. But I'm not gonna think about that. I'm just going to put my head down when the good ones come and hopefully make one or two. We've put in the hard yards, we've travelled a lot of miles, we've we've camped out and waited and waited and waited and, and today could be the start of this swell. And we're not naming this wave, is that right? No, we're not We're not naming this wave. We're, we're going to leave that up to you guys to try and figure out where we are. You can personal message us if you think you know where it is, but... Yeah, we're not going to give anything away with this one. We want to keep this spot as it is because it's pretty rare that a wave this good is this unknown. I think it's going to be good, but I'm a little nervous, super anxious. I don't want to get there and spend all this money and time and it's just not going to happen. But I've got a French buddy up there, Remy. He's, uh, he's anchoring up near the wave. Good luck to him. It's going to be hideous for him, but good on him. Uh, we're getting a taxi soon. It's going to cost us a fortune, so we've got to get the dinghy to shore. Load up the boards, we've got a couple of uh, bags worth of food, we've got sun cream, we've got water, we've got a book to read, we've got a bit of shade because we might have to wait for the wave to start breaking. What's and it costing us? Oh well, other than the cost of buying a boat and all that stuff, which is really expensive. It's $100 each way US in a taxi, each day I should say. For two days it's going to cost us 200 US in taxi fares, which is not 300 Australian. Yeah, which is a lot of money, but we're in the middle of nowhere and it's an hour long cab ride over a bumpy dirt road and there's no one here. We're grateful we can just get someone to give us a lift, otherwise we would have missed out. Quick question, is this the money budgeted for a night off the boat in Antigua, now going towards taxis? In yeah, Antigua? yeah, the night in the hotel room has just been forfeited because we've, we've traded it for a taxi. Great. Nah, we'll, uh, we'll see what we can do about it. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's go eat some sand! Let's go eat some sand! Gotta walk the rest of the way. Wow, it's hot. Just a few things for a nice, simple day at the beach. Drones, cameras, GoPros. <laughs>
stuff. <laughs> Where's the sand? It's everywhere. Yeah, wow. It's so hard to surf. You need to be like really quick on your feet. Get old. He sorted oh, us pizza so we can have pizza for dinner. We're gonna murder a pizza. I'm so sore. I think I swallowed a Viagra slowly because I got a <laughs> stiff neck. It's been a big day. How are we feeling? Beach day and pizza for dinner. No cooking and no dishes. Winning at life. Winning. That's not mine. <laughs> winning. Absolutely killing hate it. Hate that saying, life. winning. Winning. Do winning. You? Yeah. Winning. Winning. Nailed it. Winning. <laughs> so Shut cute. up and eat your pizza. Oh, look at this. Woo Get out of here. We can watch some little video footage from today, watch some empty peelers that, and pretend that we are we're better served than we could have made them in our day. Mmm. Scrumptious. Pizza, pizza, pizza. Hello and welcome back to. Ah! We probably should have expected that to happen. We do have kids now. Everything has to be kid friendly. We're such dopes. A bit of a live update. This is us. And if you're following our adventure, you probably know that we were coming back to Australia to have a baby. And this is him. Mako Morgan O'Keefe. Allow us to introduce you to the first mate of Don Quixote. He's my future apprentice carpenter. He's the future deckhand on our boat. He's my future surf buddy. Hey, he's the future skipper of Don Quixote. He's, uh, <laughs> hopefully we can pass it on to him one day if he's interested in it. But, um, he's got the onesie to prove it. This little guy's just melted our hearts. Um, <laughs> it was a crazy journey bringing him into the world. Jana had a pretty full on birth. It went for about three days. We, we wanted to do it super natural, super calm, super hypnobirthing style. And but it's 2020, so. Yeah, <laughs> doesn't always work out the way you planned. The medical system in Australia is really top notch, I think. Um, we've got a great medical system. We're super grateful for that. Hope that stays Ooh. the same. And, oh, <laughs> did you hear that? Someone's relaxed in front of the camera. <laughs> yeah, nice one, little buddy. You're really stealing the show. Oh, he loves it. Giving it to the fans and kicking the camera off the table. Yeah, we're just ticking along. Beef's busy at work and me and Mako are hanging out by the day. We can't wait for salty adventures with this guy. That's what it's all about. Yeah, so we're knuckling down here for the next six, eight, nine months, a year, whatever it takes. We're just going to see how we go here with the Bubsy. We're pretty well looked after here. Mum and Dad have been really looking after us. They're and, probably um, so sick and tired of us, but yeah. we're not going anywhere anytime and it's, soon. We've been travelling so much the last few years. It's actually nice to be grounded close to home, close to family. And what's happening here? Oh, it's just a cute little curl. Yeah, these they, curls are going soon. These curls are going. They're, it's getting hot and I'm on the tools all day <laughs> in the sun, building houses and, and it's painfully painful torture. So oh. the locks are going, fresh start. We'll shave a mullet for you. Can you do oh. it? Say hi to the camera. Oh, you're getting a little lodge down there. <laughs> Say hi to everyone. The world's watching. What is Mako Morgan O'Keefe going to do with his one precious life, hey? As Ellen would say. <laughs> wow, look at his face, hey? <laughs> Check him out. We are hey. pretty in love, eh? Oh, it's awesome. Ah. So I don't know how we're going to go with having Mako on the boat with us, but we're just going to 
we're going to make it happen, whatever we need to do. And, we'll make um, it happen. We'll make it happen. As our friend Luke would say. And I think living on a sailboat's pretty okay for kids. There's a lot of kids growing up on boats, and the kids that we know that grow up on sailboats are awesome. They're super well-rounded little, little adults almost when they're not even that old. Um, <laughs> yeah, hopefully he can travel the world with us and, and be happy enough when we're back in Australia. He can... Um, hang out here and then it might get a bit tricky when he's school age um, and starts getting friends and we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. We're a few years away from that but don't know how many videos we'll be putting out in the next year or so we'll, while we're back here but if you do want to keep in touch and you do want to keep following our adventures make sure you subscribe and put the notifications on so that you get a little dingling when we put a new video up and dingling. we weren't really <laughs> that consistent this past year but we'll probably be less consistent now but at least you'll get notified when we do put a, a new video out. Don't give up on Naughty Nook, we'll be back. We'll hopefully we'll be back better than ever. We hope to do some, some sailing, some more learning, some more self-discovery with our new little family. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, we're winging it. We don't really have a plan, but uh, join us for the journey. Kiss. <laughs> Look at this. Thanks for guy. watching. Thanks for watching From everyone. the three of us. That's it. Feels pretty good. What do you reckon, Mako? <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, it is. <laughs> I like it. I want to rock it. Oh God, please don't. It's like when you're in the garage and there's like a where your hammer goes, they draw it on the wall. It's just like it's drawn on there so I know where the ear must go. <laughs> <laughs> See you next week. On another episode of Naughty Nook. There won't be another episode <laughs> next week. And it won't gotcha! Be next week. <laughs> Thanks for watching another episode of Naughty Nook. If you like this video, subscribe and leave us a comment below. Or maybe even a thumbs up. Thanks for watching, Legends. Cheers, until next time. Adios.